can't believe that. I haven't got... You come in to spectate or participate? Participate, eh? Well, you'll need a nomination from the Guild, just like everyone else. You've already got one. My apologies. You can go in any time you like. This way, please. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes. If you follow me, I'll take you to the arena preparation area. I tell you, the history of this place is wasted on the public. The arena's first heroes, our land's heritage. But do people care? Nah. People don't want history, they want the heroes of today. Still, I suppose every era needs its own heroes. Hmm, quite profound that. You can quote me if you like. Welcome to the Witchwood Arena. A couple of basic points first. First of all, I must remind you to keep your aggression for the arena itself. Anyone caught trying to cut up his rivals in here will be in trouble. You have been warned. Secondly, the way out. You can come in after each round, not during a round. Ralph, it's getting really ugly out there. All right, you, Chameleon, you've heard all this before. Go on for the first round and keep the crowd happy. No problem. This'll be easy. Okay. When it's your turn, I'll call your name and you will enter the arena through the door our friend Chameleon just used. Once in the arena, you will battle foes from all over Albion. Every group of creatures you defeat wins you prize money and increases the prize for the next round. The aim is to stay out there as long as you can to earn the big gold. Now, you can come back here anytime you like to buy potions or more equipment. Do this though, and your price for the next round will be zero. And worse, the crowd will think you're a big loser. Real heroes get out there and stay out there. Whether you rest or not, the arena bonus prize, given by Jack of Blades himself, will go to whoever gets through every single round alive. So, get out there, use your skills well, make sure the crowd enjoys it, and if you have to die, do so bravely. The rest of you, wait your turn. I'm pleased to serve you. No wonder you've been nominated for the arena. You did the impossible. <clears throat> As I live and breathe. <clears throat> Al sorts out entrance to the arena. I just help Roth. Either way, you ain't getting in at the moment. Chameleon is still fighting. Mind you, it doesn't sound like he's doing too well. Sorry about the lack of introduction. We have a full stadium and I want action. I'm Wrath. I look after everything behind the scenes here. If you need any advice about fighting in the arena, come and talk to me. I got the door leading out of the arena. Do you want to stay in? You haven't even fought in the arena yet. Surely you want to stay. That's the spirit. Get back in there and finish the arena battles. Bad news. 
I think Chameleon's, uh, you know, dead. What? Already? The idiot. Right, people. It seems Chameleon only made it through three rounds before dying like a chicken in front of 5,000 people. We need a new volunteer. New man, you look ready. In you go. Talk to Al up by the door. He'll let you into the arena. Yeah, we all get first time nerves. You'll be fine. Either way, put on a better show than Chameleon. Pathetic. Chuck us well, over a beer, Jason will you? Chaser. Right, I can let you in now. You sure you're ready? Ah, round one. They always tell me this one gives them the biggest, uh, buzz. Buzz. <laughs> That's a good one, Al. Buzz. <laughs> Funny. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. For your entertainment, I give you Chicken Chaser. Famous for such quests as Orchard Farm and defeating ex-hero Twin Flame. Like our other brave challengers, this up-and-coming hopeful has an eye on tonight's grand prize, presented by Jack of Blades himself. And we're on to the first round, an old arena favorite, it's the Wasp Horn. Fighting like that earns 100 gold. The next round will be worth 500 gold. He may be new to the arena, but he's got through round one. Let's see how he does with the second round. It's an audience favorite, the cruel, the smelly Hobbs. Three, two, one, go!
Another 500 gold. 600 gold earned so far. And there's another thousand up for grabs in the next round. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the team round. Two heroes side by side fighting together for their very survival. And a last minute change to the hero lineup. It's the sister of arena legend Thunder. Let's hear it for Whisper. So, the two of them together, can they defeat the Valverines? Three, two, one.
one. Three, two, one. in the bag, and there's another 2,000 on offer for the next round. These two did a great job last round, ladies and gentlemen. Give them a big hand. The next round is a real favorite this year. Anyone who's braved Litchfield Graveyard recently will know what I'm talking about. It's the Undead! Three... Two, one, go!
That was worth 2,000 gold. I reckon it was. They've earned 3,600 gold. But will they stay for another round to net them another 3,000? The competition's hotting up. We've already lost three heroes. Well, it's time to make our surviving combatants even more nervous. Round five, and here they are. Spared from the headsman's block, let's have a big hand for the bandits of the Black Hand Gang. Three, two, one, go!
Thousand more gold for that. They've banked six thousand six hundred gold, and if that wasn't enough, another four thousand is available for the next round. Our intrepid heroes have made light work of wasps, bandits, cops, balmerines, and even undead. What's next? What could possibly pose a threat to our noble combatants? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's round six. The mighty Earth Trolls, Ingrid and Bertha! Three, two, one, go!
10,000. Wow, a total of 10,600 gold. Enough for a small house. Do they want another 8,000 gold? Things are getting very tough for our contestants. We can all see that they're feeling the strain. But what stands between our noble heroes and their winning? Is that a pile of rubble? No, it's the Rock Crawls, Stanis, and Groin! Three, two, one!
Wow! Another 8,000 gold! 18,600 in the bag, and only one round to go. Is it worth dying for another 10,000? Ladies and gentlemen, today you have seen the best of Albion's arena fighters. Put your hands together for our successful heroes. But now, round eight, the final battle. I give you Arachnox. Three, two, one, go.
to mark the occasion. One final round. A fight to the death between the two heroes still standing. The winner will receive a special prize. The loser will have the privilege of dying before you. What do they think they're doing? They can't do this. I'm going to put on a good fight, but I'm not killing you. I can't kill you. We came here to put on a good show. And that's what we're going to do. Let's go.
teach these things. But my dear lady, it was mere luck. He's nothing but a... Ah, there you are. The hero they're all talking about. I'm impressed. And that doesn't happen often. But I forgot my manners. I am Lady Grey. The Mayor of Bowerstone. I can see you are a man of worth. You should pay me a visit at my Bowerstone North Manor. My lady, if you would only li... Thunder, I am tired of your protests, tired of your jealousy. The time of your glory is long gone. You should learn to accept that. As I was saying, Hero, I do hope you will accept my invitation. We have much to discuss. This is not over. New blood spills just like any other, and yours will spill soon. That was unbelievable. I haven't seen anything like it for a long time. I'll guide you back through the Hall of Heroes. You truly deserve to stand amongst them. I must say, you remind me of someone who fought here many years ago. Memory's not what it used to be, but I think her name was Scarlet Robe. That's right. Ever heard of her? Probably not. It was all before your time. But if you look on your right, you'll see her statue. She was the first female hero to become arena champion. <sighs> she was a fine hero. Just as soft-hearted as you. But her dedication came with a price. After her final battle, she was never the same. She lives now in complete solitude, crushed by her failure to save her family long ago. And yet here you are. I knew her son would end up here one day. It's in your blood. And in your sister's too. You should bring her to me. I so long to reunite you both with your mother. Just think of the happiness it would bring her. This was the true face of his mother, Scarlet Robe, Slayer of Balverines. Once one of the fiercest heroes in all of Albion, yet her most splendid battle was also to be her last. Ambushed by a dozen Balverines, Scarlet killed them all, only to fall injured and drained beside their corpses. There she would have died but for Brom, a kind and simple woodsman who tended her back to health. 
In time, they married and had two children, a girl and then a boy. Scarlet's days of death were forever behind her. Whatever you decide, you've earned the champion seal. People everywhere will recognize you as the winner of the arena, and it will grant you access to Barriston North. Don't lose it. It is rather valuable. Hey you, Teresa wants you to meet her at the Grey House. Yeah, well, I suppose he did all right. 